So we left off last time explaining where and how these points were inserted and how they read the description keys and how they come in. Now let's talk about managing the points after the description keys have come in to your drawing. Because there's one thing that I get a lot of phone calls from is people who are actually using description keys are having a hard time managing them. And the reason is, it's very simple here. Uh, the reason is, is because of how description keys overwrite and control these points. So let me explain here. So um, I'm going to create a new point group. As you can see, I have a point group called All Points. And if we look at the properties of these All Points point group, it, the point list indicates to me that it has all these points in here. I've got my trees. I've got my natural ground shots. I've got my manholes, my fire hydrants. Now, the point group also says to use a basic point style. And the basic point style is just a red X. And it also says to use a description only point label style. Well, the only point that is actually following these rules is the natural ground shot. And that's because the natural ground shot doesn't have a description key associated with it. Okay. So a lot of people get into this problem when they create the, the infamous, you know, no show, no display point group, which I will do right now. I'm going to create a point group called, you know, no, no show. So these, these are my no show point groups. I don't want to see them. So I want them to have no point style and no label style. And I want to include all the points in my drawing. Okay. I will then come over here to the point list and you'll see that my trees, my natural ground, my manholes and my fire hydrants all fall into this point group. So when I hit apply and I hit OK, notice that only the natural ground shot goes away. And the question is, well, why is that? The reason that is, is because the natural ground shot does not have a description key associated with it. So let's take a look at the, the no show point group. Okay. What you need to understand is that description keys overwrite whatever the point group says. So it doesn't matter what point group these points are in, the description key will overwrite that point group and say, I don't care what they're in, you will always have the description key settings associated with you. In order for you to fix that, you must first come into the point group and then head over here to the overrides tab. We are going to tell the point group to override the description keys. Okay, so I don't care what the description keys say in this matter. I want them to override the description keys with a style set to none in this case. And I want the, the labels to be overridden with the point label style, which is also set to none. So even though these points right here have descriptions associated with them, I have now told them to overwrite those description keys. So when I hit apply and OK, my points are now gone. They're not showing. And remember, it's all hierarchy here. So I can actually create a point group just for my trees. OK. And I can set the set the I can set this to whatever I want as long as it includes, you know, the the point just let's go with a raw description matching you know tr asterisk i guess let's go to the point list and you see there's my trees well when i do that my trees will look the same but notice that my my uh point group properties indicate to me that it should use a basic x and a point number elevation description but that's not happening because of the fact that i have the ba the description keys overriding the point group OK, so I may or may not want that, but you just need to understand how the description keys overwrite and control point groups and how you have to reverse that when you are creating these. That's all on the description key discussion. I hope this makes sense to you. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, reach out to us. All right. I'll talk to you later.